all the best boxing content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and punch that bell for notifications. It's time for redemption. On December 11th, 2021, two men will enter a ring at Madison Square Garden for the most unique tests of their careers to determine who will get their second shot at the unified lightweight champion, Tiafimo Lopez. The two combatants are three division titleist Vasily Lomachenko and former world champ Richard Comey. Both of these men had to deal with unprecedented situations when they stepped in between the ropes with the young and uber-talented Lopez. They are on a collision course to get back to him and his straps, but now they must go through each other to do so. Hailing from Accra, Ghana, the hard-hitting Comey has been fighting for redemption his entire life. Because of his roots, it's hard to get big promoters to back him and always seems to end up on the B-side of fights. He has worked his way to world champion status once before to gain some respect. This fight is his chance to do it again and skyrocket his status in the sweet science. Going into his matchup with Lopez, RC had faced 31 foes, soporifically punishing 26 of them and falling on the wrong side of two split decisions in their home countries for his only two losses. In his bevy of matches, he had never been stopped until he stood across from Lopez. Oh, what a big shot by Lopez! And Comey is on spaghetti legs here in round two. Comey is hurt badly. Lopez moments away from having it happen. And there it is. Comey didn't realize how hard of a puncher Lopez was. And as he was going for his own bomb, he got caught. That's something he could come back from and did come back from. Watch out, here comes RC. Big right hand, my oh my! That was brutal! In his very next bout, he followed up with his own devastating punch on Jackson Marinez, someone who was coming off a very controversial loss for an interim world title. But that's not the fight Comey needs to prove himself in. It's his next one. Lopez may have won because of an unexpected, well-placed shot, but that's exactly what Comey is all about. The only problem is, his next fight is against one of the most skilled boxers to ever grace the ring in Vasily Lomachenko. Otherwise known as the Matrix, or Nomaschenko, Loma's not only searching for redemption, but also revenge. His match with Lopez was clearly an off night. He had to have multiple pain injections through camp, immediately post-fight, and then ultimately, shoulder surgery. But he still needs to prove it. This path didn't start with Comey either. It started in his last fight against Masayoshi Nakatani, a former foe of Lopez's who gave him some problems to the point where the takeover admitted he didn't want to face taller opponents ever again. The decorated Ukrainian truncated the Japanese's height advantage with his vintage style. How is Nakatani standing up to this? Too tough for his own good. Lomachenko, bodywork, sweeping left hand. It is over. Loma is back. Punching from all sides and not letting him think about his next move. Loma doesn't want to just beat former Lopez opponents. He wants to prove he's better in all fashions. To do so against Comey would involve replicating the crushing second round KO which, as mentioned before, is far from likely against the former world champion. He will be arguably the hardest puncher Loma has ever faced, after all. This is a clash of styles that always produces entertaining results. It's no secret that both men know what's at stake. Lopez is the target. They are the obstacles. A win gives the unified champion two options. Stay and prove he was the better man, or vacate the titles and run away from the challenge. Losing this fight isn't something they want to avoid, it's something they can't afford. True redemption is only seized when one accepts the future consequences of past mistakes, and these two have already had their slips. One more, and they will never redeem themselves.